I'd advise you to stop struggling, Highness. You're only hurting yourself. <laughs> oh, please, Highness. Spare me the angry glare. You surely must have seen this coming. I mean, you are the royal heir. And I am, after all, a cunning thief. <laughs> Honestly, it was too easy to get you, your highness. If you ever get back to your kingdom, I'd have a strong chat with your knights. <laughs> Such language. <laughs> well, get it out of your system. We have a long carriage ride to the rendezvous points. I'm ransoming you. Sorry. I thought I made that obvious. Why? Rather, why not, Highness? Like I said... Times are tough, and everyone needs a way to survive. You wouldn't understand, though, would you? Living life in that cushy palace, never experiencing how rough life outside the palace walls is. <laughs> oh, please. Do you actually believe that nonsense? Tell me, Highness. When was the last time you left and walked among your people? Seen how they live? Oh yeah, curse my name. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a dutiful knight. One who served the royal family well. But as this knight grew older, the royal family took him for granted. They kept him in service long after when he should have been able to retire. His family watched as he took on more and more quests, until one day, he never came home. He was forgotten. And what of his widow? Was she taken care of? <laughs> no. She was tossed aside like trash. And his child. That poor child lost both parents. One to death, and the other to despair. It's a tragic story, isn't it, Highness? Not really like one of those fairy tales that I'm sure you read every night. No happy endings. The good knight doesn't get his just reward. But... That's life, isn't it, Highness? It's suffering and pain. And it's something that you should know too. Countless others have. <sighs> well, try not to take it too personally, Highness. This isn't really about you. More about what you represent. You are the precious golden child of the kingdom. A symbol of hope for the future. Taking you, well, it may be the only way to get your parents to understand pain. <laughs> Innocent? Surely you've heard of the sins of the father. How do you know that name? Tell me quickly, Highness, before I lose my temper. Huh. Consider me surprised. You remember me. No, Highness. This thief has come a long way from the child you used to play with in the garden. Funny how grief and despair can harden a person. Stop calling me that. That person is dead. She died the minute her father did and then died again when her mother died. Do you even understand, Highness? The depth of grief I went through? I wished for death because every second I was alive hurt. A horrible, burning pain. 
but I survived. I grew strong. And I planned for this day. Afraid that this tender reunion won't change that. Besides, Highness, when was the last time you spared a thought for a commoner like me? <laughs> That's what I thought. Really, though, it's nothing personal, Highness. At least, not towards you. Now, I suggest you simply relax. I would hate to have to mar that pretty face by knocking you unconscious. <laughs> You may call me that if you wish. I've been called worse. I'm afraid no one is coming, Highness. No one knows you've been taken. But never fear. Unless you give me cause to, I shall not harm you. I know that might not mean much, coming from the person who took you. But it's true. My quarrel is not with you, after all. You are simply a symbol of the corruption that rots this kingdom. <sighs> Spare me the lecture, Highness. It won't do you any good. My mind is made up. Until the ransom is in my hand, you are stuck with me. Might as well try to make the journey pleasant. Now, if you promise not to do anything foolish, I'll undo the ropes. Do you agree? <sighs> there we are. Much more comfortable, isn't it? <sighs> like I said, my quarrel isn't with you. I have no desire to exact revenge on you. You are simply the means to an end, Highness. What happened to me is what happens to everyone not born with a silver spoon in their mouth, Highness. I grew up. I was forced to survive. I made difficult choices. Ones that you never would face. <laughs> oh, please. I expect now you're going to tell me some sob story about how one day Daddy wouldn't buy you an island or a castle. Whatever struggles you claim to have been through, they're not the same as mine. They never will be. Now, I suggest you just relax. We're gonna be together for quite a while. I would hate to make this time unpleasant. Highness, here. It's a handkerchief, not a knife. Take it. Dry your eyes. I'm a thief, Highness, but I'm not heartless. I can understand how distressing this situation may be. Rest assured, you will be returned in one piece. As soon as I get my money, you're free to go. So, try to calm yourself. There are worse fates for someone like you. I'm sure you know how many enemies your family has. I mean, if one of them got their hands on you, who knows what would happen. Here. Change into these clothes. <laughs> you didn't think I'd take you out in a crown, did you? <sighs> Nothing says suspicious like that. No, Highness. For the duration of this trip, you'll be a commoner. Makes it easier to travel. I'll step outside. Get changed, and then we're heading out on horseback. Well, well, don't you look like a marvellous peasant? 
I trust the fabric isn't too rough for your delicate skin. Ah, <sighs> the glare again. Really, Highness, if I were any less of a thief, I might be frightened by it. Now, take my hand. <sighs> Do it. I'll help you onto the horse. We've got to keep moving. Good. Hold on, Highness. I tend to ride a bit fast.